Maybe it's my fault. Maybe I led you to believe it was easy when it wasn't. Maybe I made you think my highlights started at the free throw line and not in the gym. Maybe I made you think that every shot I took was a game winner. That my game was built on flash and not fire. Maybe it's my fault that you didn't see that failure gave me strength, that my pain was my motivation. Maybe I led you to believe that basketball was a God-given gift and not something I worked for every single day of my life. Maybe I destroyed the game. Or maybe you're just making excuses. College career was you know, highlighted with you know, some of the highest moments. You know, going to the Sweet 16, uh, winning back to back uh, NBC conference tournaments. You know, uh, it kind of hit the hit the you know a bad note. You know, knowing that we, you know, my senior year we went, we went 20 and 15, but you know, pending you know some injuries, you know, might have been a little different. But you know, my, my college career you know was uh, was great. Probably my highest moment was winning, you know, it's it probably say two things would be winning our first, you know, NBC conference tournament. You know, nobody expected us to win. We were picked six that year. We were picked to, you know, finish, you know, 10 and 10 or whatever it may be. Jumbo Helic Bob, and I've been working on that all day. What a great job. You took over this. Was that your intent today? You know, I just wanted to come out and, uh, and be really aggressive for my team. You know, I've been facilitating these past two games, and today I just felt like I wanted to be aggressive and, you know, it helped. And, uh, we won that, and then one of the probably one of our proudest moments was, you know, getting to the Sweet 16, you know, being part of, you know, one of the elites, being mentioned as one of the elites you know, in 2010, so which is, which is great. It was, man, that's, I was just watching the matter of fact a couple weeks ago. It's probably, it said it's one of the top 10 greatest upsets you know, of college. Taylor, Marcus Morris. Point four, they do. 
on the first day of spring, number one has fallen. Be part of you know, something that historic is huge, you know, that you put your, your fingerprints on that, you know, it's, it's going to be a good legacy for you know, my kids and people following me. That's a, it's, it's a humbling experience knowing that, you know, coming from a mid-major, you know, and, and obviously it's a collective of mid-major players, knowing that you're you know, one of the best. Uh, it's, a, it's a great experience knowing that people believe in you and what you work ethic and what, and what you put forth for your teams. It was more so about just making sure I prepared myself, you know, making sure that all the details and attention to details, uh, you know, pay attention to all the small things, fine tune, fine tune everything possible to give myself a chance. A couple of things probably get my, my shot quicker, get into my shot quicker. Um, you know, working on my, my ball handling, tighten that up. You know, just working on my explosiveness, making sure you know I can be explosive as possible, you know, going to the next level, you're going to see, you know, probably some of the greatest guards, you know, ever in NBA history, so I got to prepare myself to be the best. Kyrie Irving, uh, Nolan Smith, uh, you know, there's Junior for that, you probably put him up there, but probably the best one, probably Kevin Martin, man, he's a, he's a beast, man. Man, actually, they played somebody in our, in our conference, Wichita State, which they just went to NIT. Uh, they're they're a, a, a collective group. They're a great group of guys. They play well together. You know, they, they, they fight you know, every possession. You know, one through five, you know, they're, they're tough. Gotta go with the, the Los Angeles State, man. Kobe Bryant, best player in the land. If I could pick one, probably be 